Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but mainly to my subscribers, because they're the most important people on this channel. They're more important than me, because without them, the channel doesn't exist. But if you're watching this video right now, and you still have not subscribed to this channel, why not? It's free. But it's not necessarily freedom of speech. I now get watched on my channels by a YouTube human reviewer who watches all my videos. And I hope he takes a lot away from these videos because they're based on the knowledge and experience and my views on the news. Well, people, first of all, thank you. This channel is gonna hit 83K today because of your support, so I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, um, about to end the year, aren't we, soon? I'll have something coming up before the end of the year, something coming up. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to, to what next year brings. Um, still got a few days left, don't get me wrong. But it's looking really, really positive. Um, I still, I, I have, the one, one reason why people watch me is because you, you have to be honest. The minute you start showing lack of integrity, people will turn away. They can, people can spot bullshit. So I did say from day one, and I'm gonna continue this. Because it was through your help on this channel, that I did raise money uh, to help get uh, my book, Exploitation, published. I said I would be giving away books. So the author gets lots of copies. And what I will do is I will do a video leading up to when I have the book in my hands. And I will be sending out uh, free signed copies to subscribers. Um, if I'm honest, I'm hoping to be able to get away 20 books. Depends how much they give me, but I'm going to say 20 at a minimum. Send it off to you guys for helping, especially those that give me big donations for, you know, I know all donations count, but you've got to be real. But um, yeah, so thank you for that. Um, I've had lots of emails coming in again last night, but I've seen something today. Now, I criticise, I criticise everything. Yeah, if something's good, I will showcase it off, I will promote it. But you know what? I am disillusioned with the police force in the United Kingdom, especially the Metropolitan Police. People say it's those at the top, it's those at the top. Yeah, well, I just don't understand it, right? The figures have come out that this year alone, in 2022, the police across the countries turned a blind eye to over a million burglaries. That's people having their own stuff stolen. I don't understand what is the point in the police. The police spend more time these days, in my opinion, in my opinion, Policing social media and hurdy words and the wokeism and the shit. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but um, um, you can't say, um, you can't call him a gentleman. Um, he identifies as a female and you, you have caused a hate crime. It's not a hate crime, Mr. Officer. Fucking give your head a shake. He's a fucking... So they're more interested in bullshit cases than actually stopping people's houses from getting robbed and investigating and getting to the crimes. I mean, knife crime in London is, is the highest it's ever been. Maybe that's because there's not enough bobbies on the street because they are being saturated with fucking paperwork that they can't get out and do their job. So something needs to change at the top of the police, free up the officers at the bottom to go out and do their actual jobs and leave them alone to get on with things because then you'll end up seeing people like me criticizing police officers because police officers aren't being given the freedom to do their job, basically. A uh, little bit like the NHS, isn't it? But uh, yeah, too many managers, too many yes people. Too... And I said this, and this was taken wrongly. Trevor doesn't believe in equality and diversity. No, listen, of course I believe in equality, but I don't believe that diversity is working. I think the people in charge of it are doing it wrong. So I don't agree with how equality and diversity is happening. It's being done wrong. Oh well. Right. Now, over the last seven years, uh, last year I took my foot off it because there's other people doing this and it's about veteran suicide. I used to push it and push it and push it. In fact, in fact, there's a group called um, Veterans United Against Suicide, which uh, it's basically like a pressure group. It's on Facebook and it grows. I think there's a bit on Twitter, but um, and the guys behind it are doing good, Jim and Jeff. Now, they criticize the government a lot, 
constantly criticise the government, and I understand why. Suicide is not a good thing. But I would, would like to point out that the group has made a change. Um, I remember, was it last year? No, two years. I think it was three years ago. I was interacting with Johnny Mercer, who was the Veterans Minister before he resigned, before he came back. And I put pressure, and I was calling people out, and he invited me to the Veterans Affairs Office, and I took people from different... I took Mary, who is the boss of the War Widows Association. I took Jim, who was part of Veterans Aid Against Suicide. I took mental health experts. I took about four or five different mental... I got them all to meet up at the Union Jack Club. We had a chat. We had a discussion. Who was going to go first, what they were going to do. And then I walked them across to the Ministry of Defence. And I said, off you go, guys. And I remember them going, are you not coming in? I went, no. I'm not coming in. I'm not the expert in this. You're the experts in all your fields. So you guys are going to go in, and girls are going to... Mary Morland, fantastic woman. You guys go in, and uh, you discuss the uh, important issues with Johnny Mercer. I think I upset Johnny by not going in, but the whole point of me trying to get the thing together was to bring in the experts to fix things. But then um, I would like to point out that 2020, I think there was 88 veterans took their lives. 2021, I think there was 77 veterans took their lives. This year, it's not great, but this year, 2022, so far, 51 veterans have taken their lives. Now, it's not great for suicide, but I would like to point out that thanks to Johnny Mercer and thanks to a lot of things from the veterans community and a lot more help now, and people aren't as scared to keep things themselves, Suicide is dropping, so there is there is a massive uh, drop there. I mean, that's, 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 that's 25 to 30 bods that which normally were killing themselves are finding help. Uh, I think a lot of that, don't want to blow trumpets here, but I think a lot of that is down to PTSD resolution, who provide critical care for those that are completely broken to rebuild their lives. So well done to PTSD resolution for that. Mm. Great news, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, sometimes I think there's so much shit in my head that it's, I have to get it all out. And these rants help me put things into perspective. All good. Right, for those of you out there that like air fryers, let's go to cooking. Air fryers, the new craze. Asda is the place to go right now, I believe. Asda are selling air fryers £100 cheaper than Ninja's. Ninja is an air fryer, so go there. Uh, I think they're going to be, uh, they'll probably run out in the next two or three days, but uh, if you get there early today or tomorrow, you may get an air fryer from Asta. The, is it the Sun? The Sun newspaper this morning is, um, is actually, you know what, singing the praises of Johnny Mercer, because you know what, and this is the truth, I think everyone will tell you, I used to have a go at Johnny Mercer non-stop, I mean, me and him were at each other's throats, ba 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 and it wasn't because I don't like Johnny Mercer, because I do respect that man. But the one thing that I did do is, um, <coughs> excuse me, I never challenged him as a person. I was always having a go at the rule in the MOD. You always have a go at the rule. When someone's in, in a position to make changes, you push and push and push and push and push until they say, okay, come here, let's have a look at this. And then you're able to get your ideas across. But um, I think he needs support. The veterans community need to get behind Johnny Mercer because he's the only one in the government fighting for veterans. So rather than shoot him down, we need, to, we need to support him. He's doing well though, doing bloody well. He's achieved more in his short time in that role than dozens of people in the MOD over the last two or three decades. Now I'm saying this morning, there's loads of issues coming. 2023 is gonna be a difficult year because China China are at the throats of Taiwan. And you know what? This begs a really, really important mm. thing. Here in the UK, everything that we buy is made in Taiwan, made in China. We need to stop that because if something happens and we put sanctions on, there's nothing in the UK. The UK needs to stop investing overseas and mainly invest in the UK. We need to stop making and building our own products. We've got nothing left. Previous governments have sold off everything. 
overseas, which means we are now reliant in other countries, which is not good. Mm. But anyway, listen, gonna chill. Have a good day. I'm off to get my son. Take care. But most of all, stay safe and check to see if you're still subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. Thanks. Take care.